I miss my daughter every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her. And then to think about all these other missing and murdered women and still the ones that are haven't found. I feel for them every day. I miss them. It's just like missing my own child. But the pain we always will have, nobody can ever take that. It's stuck with us. I, I try in so many ways sometimes, but it's always there and it's never, nobody can ever. But now to share a couple of days with Bridget and the rest of the family's sisters in spirit, they brought me strength. <laughs> But I love everybody. And I pray that one day it will be done. We're going to have one last speaker. We're going to ask the National Chief, Sean Atlio, to come and say a few words to the families. Thank you, uh, Bridget. Juna Ata Adlitz, Johnny Clockshed. Na Ata Adlitz, Johnny Clockshed. giving the deepest expression of appreciation for all of you people gathered here in unceded Algonquin territories to be medicine for the families. Tawa Istas, Umatikwitas Mission, my language. The families are coming here. Ta'asma. And you are being ta'asma for all the families. You're being medicine in your grief and the pain, the stories that we're hearing, thanking Bridget for bringing us all together here. So many injustices that our people have experienced. Stories of the farm is a story where one of my own relatives perished and was treated with such deep indignity as to reflect back the shadow that goes back to the 1500s when they were wondering who those people were in this new world, speculating that they were not even human, that you could do with them what you would please. Hundreds of years later, we stand before this parliament, and the great shadow that was cast by that thinking is still right here. It's being expressed in the tears and the sorrow and the deep pain. And make no mistake about it, the deep anger that is there amongst our people about the injustices that have gone on for far too long. And so when these brave and courageous people, these women, come together and call us, I'm reminded of being five and six years old in my village. Have you gone to see your auntie today? Oh no, I'm going to go play out. You go see your auntie. Have you gone to see your grandmother today? Oh, not yet. I was heading down the float to, to go fishing. You go see your grandma today. The stories of our people, the great fabric of our family societies from all of our respective nations 
haven't been torn apart by thinking that goes back hundreds of years. These are precious lives. These are our family members. The women in our families are the carriers of culture, the leaders of nations, the transmitters of language. So many deep injustices. And as, as uh, Gladys said, and trust you, me, when she says she's going to walk from coast to coast, she's going to walk from coast to coast, and we're going to support her. Every single step of the way. I want to thank all of those who've organized this. Thinking back to the summer when the chiefs in assembly gathered, Chief White Duck, passing that resolution to stand with the families calling for a national day of remembrance today. Stand with the families that we will not rest until we achieve what we've been calling for, a national public inquiry into the issue of murdered, missing Indigenous women and girls in, in this country. Let go with Zush. Mastrumaki, Takma. Let go. From the depth of my heart, thank you for being medicine to all of the families. Thank you for being medicine for their hurt and their sorrow. And we will not rest until we achieve the justice that Gladys said we will have. Thank you very much. National Chief. Um, Annie's going to do our closing. We're going to have a moment of silence. And we're going to have all the drummers come up and do one last song, and that'll be it for the vigil. Je remercie toutes les âmes et les femmes et les enfants qui ont venu ici ce soir pour nous accueillir. I would like to thank everyone from all nations, men and women, and children who come and support our women. And as we close this part of the hill and the march will begin, I would like to have a moment of silence before... So we take this moment of silence, miigwech. Okay, now the drummers may start. Miigwech, everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope we don't have to be here next year, but I'm sure we will. So um, thank you again. Um, thanks to all the family members. I love everybody. And, you know, we're going to keep on being here till we get some justice. So miigwech, and we're going to give the mic to take back the night. Yeah.